Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There is a famous saying which many of you would have heard, mountains eat up men. And who can understand this better than Indian Army having their boots on the ground 24 by 7 to safeguard our borders from aggressive and treacherous neighbors. Recently we have seen a lot of changes in the way Army was operating from being defensive to go offensive and now they are using high-end technologies to monitor the movement across the mountainous terrain at LSE in Arunachal Pradesh regarding which we will be discussing in detail. The tough terrain in this area poses real challenge in patrolling by ground troops. Further, human movements are always limited by endurance, availability and accessibility. To overcome this, Army has set up a Division Surveillance Center at Rupa, Arunachal Pradesh, which is receiving real-time images and inputs of relay movements along LSE from multiple sources like UAVs, heli-bond sensors, ground radars, and satellite feed for collision and analysis leading to a quick response. Army is also using advanced artificial intelligence algorithm developed indigenously used for facial recognition and identification of PLA soldiers and their movement. You have to also understand that this information has been released by army to media houses and they are well known to underplay their capabilities unlike China whose missile range increases by every day. Therefore, lot of changes are happening at our eastern borders boosting Indian Army's capabilities. Initially, the drones were mainly used for target sightings and hence it was under the artillery which had the long range. But now the drones are used for a wide range of operations and hence a decision has been taken to ensure that all flying assets of Army come under the Army Aviation. The long-range surveillance drones in Eastern Command have been now brought under Army Aviation Corps from artillery as a part of integrated sensor-to-fire focus. This change was initiated last year and has been done across the Army in phased manner. This will ensure that all flying assets of Army remain as a single cohesive unit. This also helped Army understand the pattern followed by PLA at some of their bunkers and posts, number of vehicle and soldiers, time gap in movement and identify any heightened activity. Indian Armed Forces are operating close to 90 Israeli Heron MQ-1 drones. The Armed Forces have more than doubled the sorties of these drones in day and night since the standoff with China last year. Indian Army will soon receive four Heron MK2 drones ordered under emergency procurement which will further boost the surveillance capability. This multi-role drones which has a mission endurance of around 30 hours and a range of over 1000 kilometers will be deployed along the line of actual control to monitor Chinese activities in areas along the frontier. The platform can perform various strategic missions including intelligence gathering, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance. It is equipped with satellite communications for beyond line of sight ranges. Besides drones, the live satellite imagery and feeds received by surveillance center which was set up earlier this year is proving to be very helpful in keeping an eye over PLA movements in real time. The use of artificial intelligence has further improved the capability of army to identify every PLA soldier caught on the camera. The face recognizer software was developed by Major Bhavya Sharma of Signals Corps. It has been possible to the huge database of pictures and videos captured by army over the period of five to six years, which is used to match and compare against the live feed from cameras and other sensors. Earlier, it used to take several weeks to identify PLA soldiers, but now it takes less than a minute. The use of advanced technology has enabled Army to get a full holistic picture 
and now troops on the ground are aware of the movement of PLA. It has enabled them to not only keep a track of the movement of PLA along LSE but also well within the Chinese territory. The integrated surveillance center under the four corps is manned by officers and men from both Army and Air Force. They keep track of various points along the LSE, soldiers and vehicle movements deeper into the enemy territory on a 24 by 7 basis. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.